happiest way. Mickey Mouse sang. Mickey Mouse sang. What, what a beautiful a day for a picnic. What a picnic all day for mm. our we will have the tall day in the mm. happiest mm. way. Now we won't be at home until dark. Mickey's really very happy as he stepped up to what Mickey Mouse's house. Ready, Mickey, he told. Ready, smiled. Then he stood up and then he thought the Snowball Town and Doofy were waiting. Mickey started away, smiled. Mickey, Mickey peeked inside the lunch box. Mickey had that pit burn. Jelly sandwiches told me sandwiches just that was age and that was people salad and peanut butter and they had a great big chocolate cake. Mitzi picked up the basket and led Mitzi out to the tar. It seemed strange to start on, off on the picnic without those ducks, said Mitzi as they drove away. Yes, but there's always trouble when dolls is along, said the others. No, no, them saw that fin. They were watching with one behind the bushes. When they were far down the road, none of them saw that figure come out from hiding and jump up and down and wave. That's all I got. Everyone saying, What a beautiful day for a picnic. What a picnic all day for a lark. We will follow it all day in the happiest way. Yeah, we won't get back home until dark. Miss, what? Then they all went swimming in an old swimming hole. I was like, doofy. And how good that fresh cool water felt. They swam and floated and played around and had a wonderful time. Say, Doofy tried, look at this, will you? Doofy was holding up his pants. The legs were all tied up into knots. So this was her shirt sleeves and Mickey's were too. Well, I never said to wear a bell towel, but Minnie had a little thought than that. The lunch she tried as she wheeled up the bank to the shade of that big old tree. <gasps> the lunch basket was gone. Oh, drowned everyone, not the lunch. Hurry into your clothes, Mickey said. We'll soon find out about this. They strolled to undo their knots in their clothes, and then they were dressed in a flash in the they were off on the hunt. All through the woods they hunted, with bush and trailing vines. But not a sign of that lunch basket did they see. At last, they came back out on the road again, near where they had left Mickey's tar. They were hot, tired, hungry, and flawed. And it was then that they met Donald Duck watching along the road all by himself. He felt pleased with himself. He was whistling as he walked along the road. And he said, he, Hello, hello, hello. He, he, he tried imagining you folks out here. I just came for some fishing myself. Tired of spending a lonely day at home, twat. He doesn't ever twat. <laughs> What'd Mickey say? Er, uh, yes. He felt bad because they had left Mickey behind. I mean, Donald behind. I almost said Mickey behind. Where are you folks going? Yeah, Donald asked. asked. We are for our lunch, Mickey said. For lunch, Donald said. Boy, I have enough for us all here in my bundle. I will be glad to share it with my friends under the same shady tree. Donald opened up his bundle. 
there were popcorn honey sandwiches, some meat sandwiches, there was eggs, lashes, pizza and eggs, pizza lemonade and a great big chocolate cake. So that's where I look. So, what? So that's where no, I look. No, a strange look. A strange look. Look, him in the Mickey and Minnie Mouse's eyes as I saw that pit it was. That was like a rabbit she had. Those look like deviled eggs and mini. Pink those dots. Deviled egg. No. What? I can't read all that whole book, Mama. You're doing so good. I need you to read it. Okay. And it is nice of you, too, Donald, Daisy Duck said, to share it with us. Sure is, said Goofy, reaching for another sandwich. Why do we keep another sandwich? Yes, Mickey admitted. I guess we misjudged you, Donald, old boy. Humph, said Minnie Mouse. Then she turned to Donald with her sweetest smile. Humph. Hmm. And what did she say? Did you Do you mean a knife for tiny has it? I had one somewhere. He looked all around, but he could not find it. I fastened the knife to the bottom of my paint can. Okay. So that's where our lunch disappeared to. Yeah. You leave it. So Mickey leaned over and looked at the bottom of the cake pan. And there, do you remember? What was on the bottom of the cake pan? Paper, paper tape. Paper tape? Yeah, there was a knife fastened to the bottom with paper tape. And on the knife handle were the letters? M M for Minnie Mouse. Well, said Minnie. Yeah. Why, Donald, cried Daisy Duck. So that's where our lunch disappeared to, said Mickey. And what happened, Hannah? Donald dropped his eyes. Uh, what does he say, Charlie? I'm sorry. That's right. I'm sorry. Honest I am, he said. I won't ever do it again. And where's my lunch basket, Minnie asked. In the back of Mickey's car, Donald admitted. Mickey had to laugh. Well, he said as he cut the cake, we've all learned a lesson, I think. Donald won't snatch any lunch baskets soon, and we all know it's better to bring what? Donald on a picnic. What to, Donald? Everyone had to laugh Donald. then. And they all piled back into Mickey's car. They made room for Donald to sit. Where did Donald sit? In the empty lunch basket. That's right. Then they all went away toward town that singing sound merrily. Very toesy. They all sang. Well, we will frolic all day. Do you remember? We will frolic. And we won't get back home until dark. dark. The end. The end. I mean, the end.